boys and girls. It's me, Miss Lamb, and today I want to teach you a little bit about nonfiction books in the library and how we organize them. So everybody knows nonfiction books are books about real things. And today I'm going to talk to you about the 10 categories of nonfiction. So the first category we call the zeros. The number could be 001, 030, but they always start with a zero. And this section is what we call general books. A lot of kids love this section because it has UFOs, things about Bigfoot and mysteries. So that's the zeros. The next section is the 100s. 100s are books about information and feelings and things like that. So if you're looking for a book about feelings and happiness or sadness, that's going to be in the 100s. Next is the 200s. 200 books are about religion. So books from the Bible, books about Judaism, Islam, Christianity. That's where you're going to find books about religion in the 200s. Then we have the 300s. 300s is a huge section of nonfiction books. It has everything from the military to communities, people, holidays, and fairy tales. Lots of books in our library are about the 300s. Then we have the 400s. 400 books are about languages. So if you want to get a book about speaking Spanish or French or German or Italian, check out the 400s. And then we have the 500s, which is probably one of my favorite sections of the nonfiction part of the library. 500s are about sciences. So books about planets, stars, black holes, insects, bugs, mammals, things like that, fish, um, that's the 500s. And then 600s. 600s are books about things that are man-made. Trains, planes, automobiles, and then oddly enough, pets. Probably because man has domesticated the pet. So dogs and cat books are in 600s. And then 700s. 700s are all about having fun. Sports, art, painting, all of that is in the 700s. And then the 800s. 800s are also one of my favorites. It's where you'll find poetry and literature and joke books. And then the last section is the 900s. 900s go up to 999, and then that's where they end. Nothing goes past that. So 900s are all about geography and history. So books about Titanic, World War II, or even geography about a specific country that you're interested in. Those can be found in the 900s. And this is how the Dewey Decimal System organizes all of our nonfiction books. So have fun, find a nonfiction book that you like, and don't forget the name, the Dewey Decimal System. See you later.